Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So now we are nearly at the end of the year. So first, Happy New Year. I wish you the best this year. And again, accept that sometimes the things are going to be white and black. So today, our routine is to keep us firm on the ground for this new year, how we're going to start this new year. It's hard to kind of say like, oh, I'm going to have a list of all the things I want to do next year and my good uh, intentions. But to be honest, let's forget about that. Don't try to do a list. Just try to go through the year, open yourself and take a deep breath to really choose when we are back again to the same mistakes or we are taking our new us. Okay, so it's a time to don't make too much plans but to keep our center, keep our feet firm on the ground, to take different decisions, to be those persons we want to be this year. So here we're gonna start moving your arms up, breathe in, move your palms together, breathe out, you're gonna drop your arms and we're gonna go a spine roll. We're gonna make a very energetic, energetic this exercise. Breathe in, roll up your spine, Push your feet down, move your palms towards to the ceiling, and then move your palms together. And breathe out, palms move down, and we go a spine roll. We're gonna do it with a strong breathing. Ready? Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. We try to use the whole breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. So it's a little bit faster because the breath. Breathe in. Feel your spine rolling. Keep you breathing. And breathe out. We can bend the knees to reach the ground. Palms together. Again, breathe in. All the way. And breathe out. Last one, everybody. Breathe in. Already we move the blood circulation into our brain to give us more energy. Breathe out. Move all the way. Fantastic. Now we're going to drop our hands into our hips. We're going to lift right heel and drop. Left. And when we are lifting the heel, push your toes strong on the ground. And let's go left and down. Right down, left, down, right, down, left. And really feel that you are firm on the ground. And push and back and up and down and left. Now we're going to change. We're going to lift the heel, lift the other one. So we stay in our toes, drop the right one and drop the left. So let's go. Left up, right up, left down right down, right up, left up, right down, left down, left up, right up, left down, right down, right up, left up, right down, left down, and the last, right, left, left. Well done. We lift our toes a little bit. And then gently open your legs to the side. Not too wide that you have certain uh, control. We're going to move our arms up. Hold your fingers. We're going to breathe in. We're going to stretch towards to the side. We're going to go down and slowly pushing your feet on the floor. And we just go all the way to the circle. And we change the direction. We just go sideways stretching. We go all the way down feeling that lovely movement and then move up and one more time side down all the way and come back and again side down other side and come back now we're going to open our toes towards to the corners of our mat. We are going to bend our knees onto the squat. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Move your arms up. And here we're going to move our energy, move our body. So we're going to breathe in, move the palms together. Breathe out, open up with a strength. Open up your chest. And again, breathe in, arms together. Breathe out, open. Keep the legs bent. It's hard work for your legs. Let's go one more. 
and open. Now drop your arm onto the right thigh, keep the legs same position, and we just go side flexion, everybody, palm facing down, reaching away. We hold four breaths. Breathe in, out. Let's go. Three, open your chest. And two, just one more. Without extending your legs, let's go other side. Keep your tummy in to give you strength. Pull up your pubic bone towards your belly button to engage your pelvic floor muscles. Let's go for three. Breathe in. Ah. Let's go two. Ah. Only one more. Now push the ground, release, and we're going to extend the legs. Here I want your arms up, palms together. Take a deep breath, push your arms gently backwards, breathe in, lift your chest, and breathe out. Back your hands, middle of the chest, bend your knees, and we're going to lift the heel, right heel up and down, left and down. Push your toes to lift the heel. Remember, this is to a start our next year or our new year with our feet on the ground, completely strong with a firm posture. And let's go left, super. Let's go three and left and two and two. Just one more in each side, one and one. Extend me your legs. Now we're going to move our feet parallel. Your toes a little bit more in. We're going to go prasarita. We're going to move our arms at the back to open our chest. We're going to breathe in, breathe out. We go all the way as far as it feels good for us. And we're just going to hold here for four and three. No pain when we're stretching. We can always micro bend the knees to go a little bit lower. Let's go two, just one more. Throw me your hands on the ground, move your hands forward, lift your chest, bend your knees. We're gonna straight here our back and we're gonna turn towards to the side. Open up your chest, keep your legs bent to allow you to keep the hand on the ground and keep your back straight. Hold me here for four, Anna, without forcing your shoulder. Let's go three, and two, ah, just one more, as far as we feel good. Release, now we walk with our hands backwards, we hold our ankles, we can straight the legs if it feels good or we can still keep them slightly bent. And we're just gonna lean forward, pressing with your big toes and the ball of your feet. We hold four breath, breathe in, no pain everybody. No stretching feeling at the back of the knee because we have ligaments and tendons there, just in your muscles. Two more breaths, everybody. Breathe in. Out. One more. And out. Move your hands again forward. Palms on the ground. Bend your knees to reach the ground. If not, you can keep your fingertips or your fist, okay? Keep your legs bent to allow us to keep our back straight and we turn toes to the left. If you can keep your back straight with the legs straight, go ahead. And we be careful to don't force your shoulder, look towards the ceiling. We hold for four and three and two and just one more we release. Now we're going to move our hands backwards. We can keep the legs bent or we can straight the legs. Move your hands backwards, fingers pointing backwards, and we try to reach backwards as far as good for us. You need to use your feet, pushing the ground with your feet, more with the ball of your feet and your big toes to help us to lean forward. And we're just going to hold here for four. Breathe out. Let's go for three, two, oh Lord, it feels great. Just one more. Now hands move onto your hips, straight your back, push the ground to raise your torso. It feels really good this. Well done everybody. Close your legs, shake your legs, how you feel? Great, let's go at the top of your mat. And from here, we're just gonna breathe in, arms up. 
Breath out, drop your arms. We go forward bend by rolling the spine down. Good. Now hands on the ground, step backward, right and left foot. I'm gonna go here onto, doll, onto plank, sorry, just to give us that the strength that we need today. So elbows on the ground, lift your elbows, palms on the floor, make sure that your hips are shoulders high. Balance the weight between your arms and your feet. You can keep your knees on the ground if you feel it's too much for you. Let's hold four breath, everybody. Keep your tummy strong, four, and three, and two, only one more. We drop our knees, drop the pelvis. We're going to extend only your right arm, and we're going to roll on the side. Okay, so we're going to be pretty much lying on the side of the body. Keep your arm straight, your palm on the floor, the other hand in front of your belly to help you to don't move sideways. Move your legs to the front. Lift the top leg. Today is in the legs and the tummy. So it's going to give us that ah, power and posture for the next year. So from here, we're going to breathe in, breathe out, kick forward, flex in your foot and release as far as you can go. Be careful here that you don't move your torso backwards when the leg is moving forward. So let's go, breathe in, and out, 10, and nine, engage your tummy, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and last one. Now bend your leg, catch your foot at the back. If you cannot catch your foot, take a towel to help you. And here we're going to push gently the hips forward to extend the thighs. We're going to hold four breaths. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three and out. Let's go two and just one more. Now release. Now your foot on the ground is important. Even if you are touching the ground and creating tension like a grip in the ground with your little toe, it's going to be great for stability for your hips. Now from here, we're going to turn the toes pointing upwards from the top leg. We're going to breathe in, breathe out. We're going to lift up towards the ceiling and down. Keep your tummy engaged. Let's go for nine and down. Eight and down. Seven and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and last one, bend your knee, pull the knee close to your armpit, if you can extend your leg, you can extend your leg and catch your foot, if it's not good for you, just, just keep pulling the knee closer, let's hold four breaths. Breathe in. You can flex and point your feet if you feel too much tension. Let's go two more breaths. Breathe in. Engage your tummy. Just one more. Oh, great, everybody. Release that foot. Let's come onto your elbow. So we're going to go side plank. You can keep your legs bent if you feel it's too much for you, or you can extend your leg. And you can use the top leg at the front to give you certain support. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out, move up. Make sure that your hips are higher and this waist is pushing you up. Keep your arm on the side this time. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three and out. Let's go two and just one more. Breathe in. And now use your hand to drop your pelvis, bend your knees, raise your torso. Ah, oh, it feels good this far, eh? And we're gonna here, make sure that your shoulders are above your hips and we're gonna lean on the side. Swing me the other arm at the front, palm facing down. Open your chest. Oh, this is great. Let's hold for three more breaths. Breathe in. Ah. Let's go two. Ah. Just one more. That's good, everybody. Now let's change, move the legs to the other side, and we're just gonna lie down. That's gonna mobilize our legs. Keep your hands at the front of your tummy. Breathe in, everybody. Breathe out, kick forward, and back. Let's go, nine, back. Let's go, eight, back. Let's go, seven, 
Let's go six. Let's go five. Let's go four. Let's go three. And two. Only one more. Wow. Bend your leg, everybody. Catch your foot. Push your pelvis forward to stretch your thighs. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. And out. Let's go three. And out. Let's go two. And just one more. Release your foot. Now toes pointing up. And then we move towards to the ceiling for ten. And nine. And eight. Use your toes on the floor. The little one. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, only one more. And then bend your knee, pull the knee in, and we try to pull the knee close to your armpit. Mm -hmm. If you have more flexibility, you can extend your leg, catch your foot, and pull it, okay? If not, we just hold here for four, but the base leg keep lengthening away from you. Let's go for three. And two, you can flex and point your feet. Just one more. Release everybody. Let's go for our plank to give it that push of strength. If you want to do longer in the plank, you can put pause and make it for 40 seconds, one minute. So let's go for breath. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three to give us that power. Keep your tummy in. Two. Keep your palm flat and push away a little bit on the hand. Then release everybody, bend your legs, raise your torso, arm up, we reach, and here is really nice. Keep your palm facing down, because if your palm facing up, it's going to turn your shoulder. So let's go here for two more breaths. Breathe in. Ah, one more. And release everybody. Let's move on to all fours. If you are familiar with Chaturanga, you can do your Chaturanga for high plank. If not, we're just going to move on to all fours, move our shoulders forward, bend our elbows, chest down, drop your pelvis, lift your chest, and we're just going to hold here, keeping your knees on the ground. Doesn't matter if the hips come up, shoulders down, elbows in, lift your chest. We take one breath, breathe in. And now, now move on to high plank or all fours, and we push back, down dog. Take a deep breath, breathe in, and out. And we're going to repeat, knees on the ground or a high plank, shoulders forward, elbows bend, then drop your pelvis, lift your chest, take a breath, breathe in, shoulders down, breathe out. All fours or a high plank, down dog. Take a full breath, breathe in, and out. One more time, remember some of you can do it from high plank. Some of us knees on the ground, shoulders forward. You can just tiny bend the elbows, it's okay. And then you just drop your pelvis, lift your chest, shoulders down, take a breath, breathe in, out. High plank or all fours, and let's go down dog. Take a deep breath, breathe in, and out. One more time, the last two, okay? It's going to be hard, but it's going to give you lots of energy. Shoulders forward, elbows bend. You can go all the way down as far as possible. Lift your chest, shoulders down, pull up your tummy. Take a breath, breathe in. And out. High plan or all fours, curl the toes under. Down dog, take a deep breath, breathe in. And out. Last one, everybody. Shoulders forward, elbows in, as far as you can go. Lift your chest, drop your pelvis, shoulders down, breathe in, breathe out. All fours or high plank and down dog. Take a deep breath, breathe in and breathe out. Drop your knees gently onto the ground, everybody. Sit back onto child pose. Move your palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind your head. We hold here for four, three, two, and last one. Ah. 
Screw everybody. Release, raise your torso. We're gonna sit down. You can sit in any comfortable position for you. If for you it's, don't, it's not good to sit on the ground, you can sit down on a chair. That doesn't really matter. Now from here, we're gonna turn toes to the right side to turn and stretch our spine, our back. Lift your chest. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three. And two. Just one more. Back to center. Let's go other side. Leave your chest. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. Ah. One more. And up. Back to center. You can sit down or you can lie down on your back. The next time is just close our eyes for a few seconds. Keep your hands onto this uh, mudra, so your fingers together, make an, uh, like a little circle, circle of energy. And remember the hands position help us for concentration and to there redirect our energy. So we're gonna close the eyes. And we are gonna think and decrete how we want our next year, what we want. What we wish. But keeping in your mind that everything you wish, everything you want, is coming as well with certain work and certain responsibility. They, we are asking for our work is better or we have a better business or better relationships. That wish, it's loads of commitment is from ourselves. They, we want to have a better job, we need to work, organize, plan ahead. If we want a better relationships, we need to understand ourselves, know ourselves, knowing ourselves, accept the bad and the good things we are, respect ourselves and others, and respect ourselves as well in some point to say no, to put limits, to move away from some people, some situations. So whatever you wish, whatever you really feel, just keep in your mind that there is a lot of responsibility and war for that thing happen from our side. Take a few seconds to see clear what you really wish, what you really want the next year. And in whatever you wish, whatever were your wishes, make sure that you as well wish for your health. Because whatever we wish, it's important that we have health to be able to enjoy those wishes and you can wish as many as you want but just be, keep in mind there is a work from our size and responsibility from our size as well for those wishes come true nice slowly open your eyes Move your hands on prayer position. If you are lying on the ground, take your time to sit down. We're gonna breathe in, move your arms up. Breathe out, drop your arms. And exhale to your mouth in this part. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Hands back, brave position. Thank you for joining me. I wish you the best for the next year and every day. Let's celebrate every day if it was a new year. So it's going to be always that feeling, that sensation of hope, faith, strength. And you, we will see the life completely different. So I wish you the best and thank you for joining me. And thank you for supporting our channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave us an emoji. And we love to read your comments. Happy New Year, and see you soon.